Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Hopefully good. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing good. Um, it's day three of my summer simple um, meals. Simple summer meals, sorry. Long day at work today. Um, and today we're going to talk about how snacking can make or break your goals. And we all know this. We've all heard this for since you were little. Not to eat too many snacks because it will ruin your appetite. Okay. So even if you eat all your meals healthy and you're exercising regularly, unhealthy snacking can creep in and get in the way of our health goals. The more we eat unhealthy junk food, the more we crave them. It's true. They're um, super sneaky that way. I mean, you can work hard to cut out sugar and everything for several weeks, and you're on a you know you're on a roll, and all of a sudden you eat one bite, and then that's all you want to do is eat it because it's addicting. Literally, it is addicting. It's made that way. Um, so the most effective way to reduce and and ultimately. Um, Get rid of all those cravings for unhealthy foods is to eat healthy, fresh, whole foods and even at snack times, like fruit, veggies. So snack foods are typically thought of as prepackaged foods, which almost always mean junk food. Um, so the challenge here is all about redefining the idea of healthy, simple foods, ignoring, um, including arming you with knowledge of how to snack healthy okay and this is what I teach my clients too is what to have on hand and be prepared for those snacks um, when you want some snacks and that way you're not reaching for something that's unhealthy well first of all you don't even have anything unhealthy you'd only have healthy stuff okay um, so healthy snacking is an important piece of the puzzle in maintaining a healthy lifestyle and once you start seeing results you'll be motivated to continue because I know, once I know that I can stay off something, I don't have any problem staying off of it. So the first important task to complete is to brainstorm and jot down your typical go-to snacks for snacking. Okay, what do you generally reach for when you need a small snack? What do you purchase at the grocery store each week for snacks? Okay, realizing your patterns is the first step in changing and tweaking them. Okay, secondly, and most important, is brainstorming ideas for new healthy snacks that you can have around regularly. And like I said, this is what I teach my clients in my 90 day program and even in my membership that don't buy stuff you know is not good for you and you know that you'll eat and then you'll be mad at yourself and it's a vicious cycle. So if you only keep healthy food around, you get in that habit of always looking for that healthy snack. I've been vegan for um, probably a year and a half now and I am always looking to add more veggies to my meals because I'm so used to eating more veggies. If I don't have enough, I'm like, okay, I need more veggies. But that didn't happen overnight. It's just because I keep eating them all the time that I'm used to wanting more, okay? So some simple healthy snacks to always have on hand Fresh, raw veggies, such as celery and carrots. These are easy. I know some people will put peanut butter maybe on celery, so that would add some protein to it, as long as you're eating um, peanut butter that doesn't have added chemicals and sugar and salt. Or, well, some salt, but mostly sugar, okay? Um, fresh fruits such as apple slices, bananas, grapes, or melon. And my favorite, raw nuts, and then dried fruit. You need to watch if you are diabetic, or have a tendency to um, are pre-diabetic with and you need to watch your numbers to not eat a lot a lot of dried fruit like a lot of people okay because that is still kind of like sugar and can spike your um, glucose but it's still better than eating junk food so if all you have to eat is something that's full of sugar and full of chemicals or dried fruit I would eat the dried fruit because that is fiber and it's good for you and yes, it's got some sugar, but it's natural sugars in it, okay? Raw nuts, I do the um, walnuts, pecans, cashews, pistachios, and that's all I snack on. I take it, 
a um, bag of them to work to snack on when I get hungry. I have them here in one of those big gallon mason jars. Okay. Um, grapes. And I think I've said this before. When I want something sweet after I eat dinner, and instead of reaching for my husband's ice cream, which bothers me anyway with the lactose, you know, the milk, plus it's got sugar and chemicals in it that I shouldn't be eating, I'll take um, and eat on a couple grapes. And they are so sugary sweet tasting that it feels like I've just had some candy or ice cream, okay? So have them available because you'll start eating them more. Oranges are another good one. I love oranges are really sweet. Okay, so when you replace the bad, unhealthy snacks with the healthy ones, you're going to naturally want to keep reaching for them. Okay, so let's do a little bit of homework. So you're going to jot down your current habits and like what are your typical snack items. Write those down because sometimes we forget. If we don't see it written down, we don't think or we don't remember that we might eat that. Okay. That's why a food journal and a food diary is very good in the beginning so that you can see exactly what you are eating because it's easy to forget like what you had during a morning snack and then all of a sudden at night you're like, oh, I didn't have that and you did, okay? Also, consider if your current snack items are healthy. So what new and healthy snack items can you stock up on at the grocery store to change your pattern so that you don't get like bored of the same grapes all the time? Okay, so then this week's, um, today's recipe free meal, which I'll post um, as soon as we're done here, is zucchini noodles. Oh my gosh, instead of pasta, I will use spaghetti squash or I will spiral, I will spiralize some zucchini noodles to make my own um, healthy pasta. Okay, so you can get a really cheap spiralizer and do the noodles and then all you have to do is toss, um, top your noodles with something healthy like olive oil or a favorite dressing but not anything from a bottle guys you need to start making your own because there's the sugar in all the dressings are are just going to um, set you back especially if you're trying to eat healthy and snack healthy the condiments are another spot that can really get your diet off track okay so I hope this one was helpful um, snacking is always hard for a lot of people and I will post this recipe free recipe um, as soon as I'm done here so stay safe stay warm if you're in the southern hemisphere stay cool if you're in the northern hemisphere stay safe no matter where you are and I will see you guys tomorrow bye